And so you did mention that uh, with the, the dryness, we have been able to make some good progress on construction. So I'd love to hear more about that, of some of the projects. and. Well, I'm sure our guests that uh, are watching this have certainly noticed anybody that's come in from Frisco and right. approached the town on Highway 9 from the north have noticed all summer the work that's been going on uh, out at the north end of uh, Breckenridge, and that is our new water treatment mm -hmm. plant. And we've been talking about that for years. So this is a big project, and it has taken a lot of planning uh, to get to this point, but we are at, you know, this summer we actually broke ground. Mm -hmm. And uh, so all the work that's been going al in along the side of the highway is the uh, raw water pipe that we're laying. Right, right. So we'll be, you know, our intake, we'll be pulling water out down by the lake, pumping it up to the treatment plant, which will be, um, you know, on Highway 9 mm -hmm. there, where people see the big crane in the yeah, air right now. Yeah. That's the location of the new uh, water plant. And uh, we treat the water, and then from there, it's distributed out through our system. And this is still at least, you know, a two year project to right. completion and, and getting it done. But, um, you know, getting all that pipe laid was a big deal. Right. And so we're on, uh, on schedule, and that will be completed. Uh, by this fall, mm -hmm. uh, getting that first phase down to the lake done. And uh, so we feel good about that. And, th you know, this is not going to look like your traditional water right. plant. Right, yeah, I've seen the designs. Yeah. It's very well laid out yeah. and, yeah. It's going to have a couple of iconic features in it, mm -hmm. like Baker's Tank. Those of you that hike on the Baker's right. Tank Trail, you're familiar. We, we've kind of recreated the Baker's Tank and right. incorporated that into the plant. And uh, it, it, it's going to be nice, and but more importantly, it is going to serve this community uh, for the next 40 to 50 years. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be able. Uh, water is just one of those resources that we often take for granted, especially as we faucet, talked about wildfire too. Yeah. yeah. But uh, this is something that you know we have a good water system, but it's a, our older plant. It's still going to operate, but we need some redundancy mm -hmm. and a newer plant that will take us far into the future. So it's, it's been an investment uh, that we're making into the future and it, a lot of planning and right. so it's happening now. Yeah. yeah. And then once that is done, we'll go back to the current water treatment plant in the Tarn and do some updates there, right? Uh, we have some repairs to the dam at the, at the Tarn that we need to do and while while those repairs are very important, it's nothing that is uh, so time sensitive that it right. can't wait right. for a year or two for us to get in there and make those repairs. But we, we need to be able to kind of shut down that older water plant when mm -hmm. we do those repairs, so we need the new one to be operational first.